Guys, welcome back to Stone Log 3. In today's episode, we're going to do everything thermal related and automate Uraninite, automate dry ice, get deep slate, get basalt. And basalt we will need later in the next episode. Anyways, guys, let's get to it. Let's start with thermal. All right, guys, I made a new room. I decided to make it out of quartz and black concrete. Now I also used some uh, illuminant blocks for the lighting. I had the option of using these guys, a frame glowing cube, but for some reason they're not providing light guys. Anyways, I've also made a frame door, so if we want to access back here we can do so, or we can travel with uh, travel stuff. Now I didn't know what to name it. So it's just the room number two. All right, guys, I think inside here we're going to do some thermal. We're going to do some mechanism and we're going to start some project E. Uh, let's get started. Now, guys, we're going to blast through it. We're not uh, going to stay much on it. So I'm just going to make a dynamo for the achievement. Next thing I want to make is a pulverizer. Let's uh, place it right here. And then I'm going to use a, a gate and some cable and just go like so. Now the next thing I want to make is some iron dust. Uh, with flint, uh, there is a chance that you get two iron dust out of one iron ingot. And also, I will need some nickel. Dust. Let's make another pulverizer. Nice. Now we should be able to combine iron dust and nickel dust into Inver. An Inver blend. Let's see. I think this should be enough. Perfect. Inver blend. Now we need to smelt this. And staying in the thermal expansion series, <laughs> uh, we can make a redstone furnace. Nice. Now I also forgot that we have resonant integral components. Uh, honestly, I don't remember where I got them from. I believe legendary loot chests or bags. Now if you put this in, just right click it, the process will be much faster. Yep, definitely much, much faster. Now we can also make a sequential fabricator. And I believe this will allow us to... Hold on a sec. Let's place this here. And let's place this here. Here. Configuration. This. What is this? This. Is it going here? Hello? Which side is that? Must be the side I need. Input. Input. Okay. I definitely know I can do this. All right, guys, I got it fixed. So we didn't need a side and modular re reconfiguration. Uh, you can set this to output and just enable auto output. And I did the same here, left and auto output. And this I set up on auto input from both sides. And now we got Inver automated, Inver blend. But now we can actually push it up it up into a redstone furnace now this needs input nice see now if we click with this one it should go faster perfect now we got invert almost automated and this also needs power now guys we can pulverize everything but what's the point? We're going for an induction smelter. Noise. 
Now I want to make some Electrum. It's silver and gold. I've made three more induction smelters. For the time being, I'm not going to automate anything yet. I don't think it's necessary, guys. I'm just going to do this, this, and this. We got some Electrum. I will also need some bronze, which is tin and three, one tin, three copper. Nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Then using the bronze ingots, we need to make a multi-servo press. All right, we also need constant. <laughs> oh my God, guys, I'm such a noob, such a noob. Copper and nickel. All right, we got the constant, we got the gears, we got the multi-servo press. Nice. Now from the multi servo press i need some electrum plates noise now with the electrum plates we should be able to make some augments let's see which basically increase the speed of the machines well they're quite fast to be honest and you can stack them. Nice. Now I need a blast chiller. So in order to make blast, a blast chiller, I need ice. I need packed ice. To make packed ice, I need ice. I've made a philosopher's stone. Very easy to make once you have all that. And we do chickens, we have a farm, etc. Very easy to make. So this... Shift right click with a Philosopher's Stone and it converts the water to ice. <laughs> I'm being a noob guys, I'm being a noob. Uh, de there's definitely better ways of doing it, maybe like this. Maybe, maybe not. Alright, let's get some mice. We need three more. One, two, three. Nice. And this. This will be our two needed pack ties. Nice. Now, what else do we need for the blast chiller? Blast chiller. In for gears, we should have everything. Nice. Now this thing needs water. We can use water eggs or we can use the water condensator. And I believe there is another thing called... Yep. Yeah. Actually, let, let's make this one because it's from thermal. Nice. I believe they work exactly the same. Exactly the same. So they both need water sources, some energy, and they pump water. All right. Actually, this guy does not need an energy source. So that's actually perfect yep it's full of water all right guys we're just gonna move it once down like so and then we should be able to pipe the water with a fluid pipe like so and this needs to be configured to bottom nice sorry and also auto input and then this to output. Oops. Nice. This has water. And what does it make? Ice. Nice. Now, next thing we need. We need a packing die. 3x3. Three 3x3. By three. Three by three. Perfect. Now, we need another multi-servo press. Okay. This is ready. And we need to provide it with a packing die. And power. And I want to configure this to output. Sorry, and enable and this to input and nice we got packed ice now this we need to make into blue ice hold on a sec packed ice so we need another multi servo press <laughs> packing die done and this should provide us with blue ice well let's see if this works all right guys so 
So this is actually going to work. I've placed an energizing orb and an energizing rod. Now this is outputting blue eyes and it takes a second guys. Check this out. Boom. So this should be able to keep up. And uh, the only problem that may appear is that this thing makes blue eyes too fast and three of them go in. But I don't foresee that problem coming up. Also, so I think we got dry ice automation. We just need an output. And that's it. All right, guys, we got dry ice. Uh, it's coming in slowly but surely. All right, I added another fully upgraded one. And this is not upgraded yet, but this guy is uh, starting not to keep up. So let's upgrade them all. Let's actually upgrade this right now with three speed upgrades and this one as well. Now, how do we make these guys? So we need, okay, okay, we got Inver. We got inver, but let's make some more. All right, guys, we got some, uh, you call it, I forget. We got inver, we got electrum, we need some signalum, signalum. So let's see, it's uh, copper, silver, and redstone. Nice, and then we will also need some enderium. And it is, what do we need for that? Diamond dust lead and ender dust and yeah, diamond that's oh my god one million that's amazing now i don't want it to go here but anyways now we need the gear working die nice and let's make some gears nice now we will also need some hardened glass which is never quartz sand and obsidian Okay, we got some hardened glass, we got some signalum gears, and some more, almost a stack. Now we got some ender dust, diamond dust, and lead dust. And I believe we can combine those to make enderium blend. 44. I mean, it's okay. We will also need some lumium gears and that is silver tin and glowstone let's make a few of those all right we should be able to make everything 47 oh my god why did i make so many nine what am i missing i guess i'm missing those 31 well that's okay but i think i can only make 11 of those hold on Eight? What am I missing? Right, right. Hold on a sec. We got more. We got more. Got more. Eleven. Perfect. All right. Well, this guy will make dry ice now. That's okay. This guy is keeping up. This guy needs a lot of packed ice. Anyways, we can speed this up, but uh, I don't think I'm going to bother. Now, to finish off our thermal quests, we need a magma crucible. I think we can just make it. Magma crucible. No, we can't. Never bricks. Do we have enough? Yes, we do. Magma crucible. Pitogenic insulator. Pito. Nice. Can we make a few? Let's make a few big news extruder. Should be able to make it now. What happened? Oh, it's there. Okay, guys. So the final thing we need is a redstone flux cell. Now to make it, we need a rubber. Make rubber. We need either vines or a dandelion. And I think this is easier to get. Grass block. Let's do that. Now having the Philosopher's Stone, we can convert sand into grass blocks. Okay, now let's crook it. And hopefully we get noise. I've placed two of our 
Phytogenic insulators here for them to gain water. And now I want to make some Phyto Grow, which is basically one of the best fertilizers. Oops, I needed that. Let's place one here and one here. Okay, why is it, why is it not working? it's working now i guess it needed more time wait what hold on a sec i guess we need this augment so this allows us to recycle the output now we'll need more signal okay so if we place this here let's see if it works now I think it's working. Yes, it is working. Does it make more if I stack them? It doesn't look like. Oh well. All right. So I connected the sequential fabricator to the two phytogenic insulators and put some water eggs and now we have rubber. Now we can use our furnace melt it nice and i think we just need cell redstone cell nice perfect thermal series done guys all right guys let's see what we get from the quest rewards okay okay Chiseled block. Uh, well, nothing special to be honest. What is this? What the hell is this? All right, guys. So I've gone ahead and uh, semi automated the reactor. Um, it now has some dry ice, some coal, some urine nine night and some redstone going into it with hoppers now i believe the next thing i want to do is fully automate the thermal series so let's get to it all right guys progress report so i've connected four redstone furnaces to one emi pattern provider okay we got a need On the input wait it did work is there a round robin i guess there is not huh. all right guys so check this out um i couldn't figure out how to round robin between a few furnaces and one emi pattern provider if you actually connect the furnaces to the emi pattern provider like uh, you know uh, next to it but if you do it this way if you connect a chest and then connect an output to the furnaces and an input to the furnaces then this thing and of course set the output from the chest to round robin then this works Check this out, the rubber. Do I have? I just have eight left. It's okay. Hope I have. Oops. Start. Oh my god, oh my god. See? Oh my, <laughs> it was too fast, guys. Anyways, it went to all four. Um, let's see. Can I show you another example? Let's show it on the next set. Now I will beautify this. Okay, guys. So this setup works. Or single um, non alloy item. Unfortunately, for example, the induction smelter, which uses up to three items, does not work because when you get three different items here, sometimes the round robin function um, fills in one of the induction smelters 
with uh, items that weren't supposed to be there and the process stops so for the induction smelters we're going back to this setup but we will get back to this later actually guys abort that what the hell is that did you guys hear that What is that? Okay, guys, let's try again the induction smelters. Now we got this going. We got an Emmy pattern provider with the things we need. And four induction smelters fully upgraded, connected to directly to it. Let's see. Enderium. Craft 100. Now this should... Yep, it does start from here, from the pulverizers. And soon enough... Is this online? It is online. Okay, it goes to one. Yeah, how about we set this lock crafting? What is this? What is this, guys? That's new to me. Blocking mode. Ignore the contents of it. Inventory. How about blocking mode? Do not push. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Ah, and we need some energy, of course. Of course. I completely forgot. Well, I mean, you can do it like that. It pushes the next one instantly, right? Why is it not pumping the items back, though? I do have the setup enabled, 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 enabled. Like the input and output is the same. Anyways, let's uh, wait a few seconds. And how many did we request? A hundred, right? Huh. How many will it make? Hold on a sec. A hundred. And it made two hundred. Uh, well, that's kind of weird. All right, guys, I see why. I see why. So I've set the recipe, but uh, uh, the output was, oops, was one Enderium ingot. Now, if I set it to two, we should get exactly the number we requested. Let's see. Let's make 20. Nice, guys. 20 we got. All right, guys, progress report. We've got the induction smelters with all these things. Bronze, Electrum, Constant, Inver, Hardened Glass, Enderium, Signalum, Lumium. Then I have two Emmy pattern providers, each with four molecular assemblers. One is full on gears and one is well, I made a machine frame and then I also made all the stages of the um, resonant integral components which upgrade the thermal series machine. Also, I want to make the speed augment. Augment. If I, I think I have everything besides this. We need that. Uh, electron plates. All right, we need to set up the multi servo presses next. We got the gears, we got this, we just need the plates recipe. 
bada bing bada boom and just put it inside here nice now we can also access this by changing our universal terminal to this terminal to the pattern uh uh uh, uh pattern access terminal Actually, guys, I was confused with the multi servo presses because I thought we we're gonna make the gears in them, but we will craft the gears. So, yeah, we can go with this setup for them as well. All right, guys, now we got all the plates going into multi servo presses. Sorry, the plate patterns. And let's just connect them to be like a so me in get two of those two acceleration cards and just connect this to let's connect it to the main system how many channels are we using 10 perfect got 22 to go let's see how this looks Noise, noise. All right, right, right. We need. We also need some ender gates. Now, guys, I have a lot of materials. You don't need all these ender gates. I've got tons of them. Tons of them. Because, yeah, the resources are ju just being pumped into the system. Noise. Clean up a bit. Very nice, very nice. Now, what is next? What is next? Maybe some pitogenic insulators? I'll think about it. Let's actually taste the taste, test the plates. We don't have many bronze plates. Let's make 200. Perfect. And is this being used? This processor? No, it's not. Why not? Only for requests by automation. Hmm. Okay, can I make another process? Let's see. Ender. Ender, ender, ender dust. Yes, I can. I believe this will be used. Perfect. So the first craft is using our first setup and the second craft is using this setup. So maybe I should build a few more of those. But can I do it? 206. Next. Right, I can because I don't have any processes left. Why is this not crafting? Is this crafting? Riser, riser. Why is it this not pulling then? Hello? Hmm. Maybe I should set this. Right. So, of course, I do need to set this. I thought the furnaces worked without setting this to output, and this should finish. How are they doing? Nice. Now, I will upgrade all those. What options do I have besides ultimate? Hmm. How much does it cost? I see. Well, how about this? Got tons of materials. Tons of materials. Hold on a sec. How much space do we have here? Okay, okay. 
pattern molecular start this should take a few seconds perfection let's go this nice and 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 let's see how fast this goes pipe i'm all out it's going okay so one of them is crafting the iron the next one the next one the next one the next one etc etc this is okay so it's one per second that's okay how about increase that molecular craft this should work soon perfect can we what if we do this and this and this and this oh my god now, oops, I'm not upgrading the very useful ones, but good to know, right, guys? How many did we order? 300. 300, nice, done. I'm taking those back. Actually, we need to make, we need to automate acceleration cards upgrades as well. Let's, let's not use them here. all right very nice all right guys small progress report i've moved some items like the aqueous accumulator and four blast chillers and multi servo press and now we have a small setup making packed ice there you go which goes oops too far into our drawers system it's right there that's packed ice that's ice and that's blue ice um i think we need packed ice for some recipes and now i'm going to set up four more blast chillers for the what do you call it the dry ice setup just like we had before all right guys we got dry ice automation and it's going back into our system nice so this will be going on forever why is this is this yellow and this blue last chiller oh it's not upgraded that's why guys nice wait but it's still yellow is it because this is processing and this is not anyways doesn't matter why is this so slow so this one is pumping this one is not have I said something wrong? Nope. They all should be working. Weird. Weird. Very weird. Empty. Very empty. Well. I don't know guys right this side cannot accept anything and this side cannot accept everything so we'll remove these guys this guy should be pumping in right nope that's definitely not it anyways what if we do this nope Is this guy pumping in from three direction? Yes, it is. 
That's very weird then. Why is this not? Is it fully upgraded? It is. Why is this staying here? I don't get it guys. Blast chiller. Maybe I should st do this. It doesn't look like it's it it matters. It pumping here. No. No. Oh, wait. Oh my god, I was so dumb. What, why did this happen? I'm not sure, guys. Anyways, we got the ice automation going. Which is nice. Now the next thing I want to automate is... Hold on a sec, let me get rid of some stuff. The next thing I want to automate. Now, ketogenic insulators we don't need. But I want the igneous extruders automated. Let's see. What do we need? We need Inva ingot. Let's make wrong one. Make one of those. And one of those. And change the terminal. We should have space available right here. Let's make. Uh, we won't use 10, but let's make 10. Now, how does this thing work? Okay, okay. Information generates various types of stone. Requires an adjacent lava source and cooling. The block beneath may also affect the product. Okay, okay. I see. So, it just needs... Like, water... Let's, let's get us half a stack. Lava. Let's make some stone plates. Let's make a stack. Let's just quickly see. Water, lava. Okay, it's generating cobble. Nice. And stacks are done now. How? How do we make anything else? How do we make... Aha! Uh Aha! -huh, uh -huh, I see. I see. I want... Packed ice. Oh, that's why I needed packed ice, guys. <laughs> and this... what Did I need basalt? I don't remember. I don't think I, I need it. Yes, I do need it. I want ancient debris. How do we make ancient debris? Just by mechanism. Yep, mechanism. Well, we'll get to this in the next episode. Now. So, it needs a magma block. Magma block. Okay. Okay, hold on a sec. Uh, this thing, yeah. Let's just place the packed ice. Will it consume the packed ice? It does not? That is amazing, guys. That is amazing. Nice. And then... What do I need to make? Blue ice. Nice. Well, we can do... We don't need that. So maybe... Hold on a sec. How did I get that? Um, where is it? Practice. 
Lava. Bada bim bada boom. Full soil and blue nice nice so this will provide us with raw ura uranity uraninity we need to crush it and then we need to crush it again and then this Okay. Wait, what? Euro 92? Okay, we will energize it. Perfect. Alright, guys. Final thing for today's episode is to automate the... Nope. The deep slate into uranium. And I guess we will also automate this reactor. So we will provide it with urine. Uranine it. All redstone and dry ice so let's do that first i need let's make three auto hammers now this should be relevant oh my god it's done <laughs> guys progress report so i got cobblestone <laughs> sorry deep slate crushed deep slate going into this chest dropping down into a belt going down into brass tunnels which are being distributed between seven one two three four five six seven belts and uh, three of them are going into crushing wheels crushing the deep slate into a row uranite and also and also 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 right some of them do are not uh, accessed uh, they are not connected to crushing wheels so we have an input of a uh, crash deep slate which goes back to the belts to the tunnels right here and it goes back to crushing then we also have this which is yeah raw uranium which is being sorted into redstone furnaces and sometimes these furnaces here you go they smelt it up and it goes back to the system as uranium ingots okay guys so i've got two problems the first one my inventory with uh, my card is gone and i have no idea how to get it back i've tried everything well i guess everything besides the option to bring it back now the second problem is um, the raw uraninite is going too fast into the energizing orbs and therefore therefore where is this coming from all right therefore uraninite uraninite is not produced now I believe we can solve this with this mod. Pretty pipes. We'll need some pipes and we will need the stack limiter module. And I'll show you how it works soon. Place the pipe underneath or whatever you want. Right click with the stack module, stack limiter module. Right click on the pipe, switch to stack limiter, which is to one limit to one stack. Do the same for the rest. Now this should work. Now we need a chest that it, that will be receiving the uraninity. Perfect. It has everything. And now we need. First of all, we need to extract everything. Now we need this thing right here. I've got. Cra I crafted a low extraction module, and I will upgrade it medium and then to high and if i place this here 
it should start extracting the right amount now also i will need the round robin where is it round robin sorting modifier nice click that here and it should work perfectly fine why is this not stack limiting one why is not why is this not receiving anything hmm oh well what about what if we do it here uh where shall we do Ah, three is enough guys right three is definitely enough all right now we got uranininity automation and we need to connect it back to the system right. i've got an enemy import pass I need to filter it actually you don't really need to filter it but anyways, where are my cards, guys? I don't know. Now, this should be fine. Fine. Bada bim, bada boom. How many channels is that? Six out of eight. No, we don't want to connect here. We want it connected right here. Perfect. Perfection. Now, this is going slowly but surely. All right, guys. Last thing I want to test out. Can we... Put all four items into the reactor from one side. Let's see. Yes, we can. This is perfection. This system, the white one, is connected to our storage. This should work, right? It does. Perfect! Reactor fully automated. Noise. Alright guys, well this is it for this episode. I wanted to record more, but I'm starting to have problems with my AE wireless uh, terminal. It's buggy for some reason, so I guess that's a good sign to finish off. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and I'll see you hopefully next week. Otherwise, Happy New Year, guys.